David Gray is with me now. How lovely to see you. Thank you. Why have you kept us waiting five years for this, David? It's too long. Yeah, it's all the jam making. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he does make very good jam. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's been a while. It's important to get it right, you know. Yes, of uh, So I've I've definitely slowed down a little bit. You know, if you put a record out, there's a lot that comes with it. Right. It's like a weird form of sensory deprivation. <laughs> you sort of you, you know you're locked into a schedule that lasts a year or so. So I was in no hurry, but um, it's changing times too. You've got to make sure you take the right steps. Yes, that's a nice story. Yes, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's one that. thing she's done for me. <laughs> 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 so she, uh, she was looking at this Instagram account of this tattoo artist that she loves. She was up. She wants to get a tattoo from him. I said I really like his drawings, so I got in touch with him about doing drawings for my album. So every song has a different. That's right. Has a different, so we got the moth with the city of London in its wings. This right. is for the title track, Gold in a Brass Age. I'm a bit obsessed with moths, so I, his brief was, I want a moth on the cover. And this is what he came up with. So I'm, I'm absolutely delighted. It's rare that you give someone a brief and it comes and out... And then it comes to be you want. It's well, it like comes out vision. better than you want. Oh, so, that's good. Yeah, I'm, it's, it's an amazing package. She's not going to get that as a tattoo, is she? Uh, do you think? <laughs> I don't know what she's going to do. I don't know how you would feel about that because you love this so much, but then it's a tattoo and it's like, oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> See, the thing, you know what the Obama said? The Obama said to their daughters, you can get a tattoo, but we'll get exactly the same in exactly the same place. And their daughters went, no! <laughs> like that. So that's maybe one way to stop them, I guess, yeah. should you wish to. Do your daughters think that you're the coolest man in the world? Absolutely not. Do they 100% know? 100% not. No. <laughs> Thousands of people were running towards us. <laughs> I thought the beer tent's just over there <laughs> with McEwen's written over the top of it. That's where they're going. But they're actually coming to no, see us. see you. So we started Sail Away and they all started singing wow. along and we were just looking at each other going, my God, this is actually happening. So what that, an incredible moment. It was, it was, the whole thing was unbelievable. Fantastic. You know, it was unbelievable. It took a long time for this good stuff to happen. We've, yeah. all, we've all been wading through, you know, the bad stuff for years, so sure. it, it felt oh, incredible. You, you put graft in. I mean, you know, it was overnight success after years and years and years it, of trying. It, it's always hard work, putting records out. It's like lowering yourself into a nice acid bath every few years. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's grim. It's, yeah. it's hard, it's tough. People can say what they want, they can ignore you, they can do this, they can do mm. that. I think you've got to really, really want to do the music. You've yeah, got to really you've got want to, to make that connection. Yeah. It's, got, it's, not, it's not a rational thing. So uh, it, it was hard before, it, it's, it doesn't get any easier and success brings its challenges too. So yeah, yeah we'd, everyone who was in the band, myself included, we'd all had records out that hadn't worked out. So it was just that little bit sweeter when it really did come good. But also your songs really connect with people. That's the thing. They really do. I, I, I think, um, well, that's nice of you to say so. It's true. I, I think I, I'm, I'm trying to make that connection myself. There's something very, there's a deep-seated need that's behind me making music. It's, yeah. it's, um, it's trying to make that connection. That was all I was ever aiming for. When I started, I didn't know, you know, whether I wanted to sell millions of records or anything. I didn't have a plan. I wasn't aiming at fame and top mm -hmm. of the pops. I just wanted to put my music out and, and try and make a connection. That was it. But that's so refreshing. It's not. It wasn't about the fame. The fame is a byproduct that maybe is sometimes a little bit difficult to deal with. It, it's you a know, whole. It's a whole thing unto itself. Yeah, it really, really is. And to relax, you make your jam. I, I, I'm jam maker. <laughs> when I get a chance, if I'm, I know, if I'm in, but you've not brought me any because it's well, all gone. It's gone. I gave the last pot away at Christmas, <laughs> so it was actually a very bumper year next year. Right. Uh, last year, rather. Okay. Last year was a bumper year. What about this year? Uh, well, I don't know. I'm, not, I'm going to be on tour, so it's going to be difficult. We'll see. Because I need to have it. I'm, okay, I'll, I'll, say I, it I, I'll, I'll get you some. I mean, I've got the record and everything, it's, it's, that's lovely. It's good stuff, yeah. But the jam is just the jam. Okay. On top of it all. No David, kidding. a joy. Thank an you. absolute joy. I would say good luck with this, but it's going to be absolutely enormous. The, the album Gold in a Brass Age is out right now. You've got to give that a listen. Proper. Thank just you. Just proper. Thank you.